What is up, guys? This is a new video. Uh, we're... I, I just got done filming the... Actually, I'm not done filming the previous video, but... Yeah, we're, I'm filming two videos <laughs> at the same time. So, this video is actually about the quail I was talking about. So, um... The quail... They're celadon layer quail is what they're called. They're called celadon layer quail. They lay blue eggs. Um, they're a pretty rare breed of quail. They're... They're pretty expensive for what, like, for what quail normally costs, but, um, yeah, so I'm getting 60 of them, 10 males and 50 females, um, so that'll be my new business venture to start making money, some more money and make the farm more profitable, uh, most of my chickens haven't made me that much money just because I just got done with all of the, like, I just, they, whenever I sold them, they were, like, just now old enough to lay, so I never really made that much money off of them but these quail will be a bigger uh venture for that and i can start making money and then i'm rebuying those like for mcmurray i'm getting 10 creep cores so i'm gonna rehab those creep cores so yeah these quail are a big deal i have the coop outside we're gonna move that into the chicken run i bought them a new coop uh which may seem small for 60 quail it's it's bigger than what they need but eventually i'm gonna build them a bigger one like it so um 16 that's like 18 square foot about that's actually more like 20 square feet i think we calculated it was like 22 square feet but 16 square feet is big enough for up to 64 birds so it should be fine um it will be fine they won't all be able to stay in the house at night but i'll make roosts and stuff so may maybe they can all fit in there and eventually i will build a way bigger one and um then they can all live like really really freely so I'll see you guys out back. We're going to move that um, and then set up that enclosure in the chicken run. Uh, that way they get ready. They'll be here in a few weeks, so uh, we need to be ready for that. And uh, this video is actually sponsored by Southwest Game Birds. Um, I have never talked about them before, but uh, I have some. I have 60. They were kind enough to send me 60 eggs. Um, 60 celadon quail hatching eggs. So I'll be getting... 60 eggs and I'll have some for sale. I'm getting the 60 adults and then I'll have the 60 eggs. So whatever ones hatch out of that, I'll have for sale. So then they're also sending me some egg quail egg scissors because quail eggs are actually really hard to crack. So I'll talk more about them whenever the eggs get here. But um, yeah, let's go set up that. Okay, so I actually, before I was able to um, set up the quail coop, the eggs got here. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Southwest Game Birds. So, um, yeah, let's open these up. Here, maybe I'll move this down a little bit like this. Alright. So, you probably can't see my face. But. So, um, this is the first batch. So, guys, uh, they, the post office so they ship they shipped these out and then the post office like they messed a lot of shipments up like everything's late like there's a big live animal embargo now you can't ship live animals until the 26th so um these were a week late but that was not southwest's fault um so they they are sending me some more just in case because these probably won't hatch, but we're gonna put them in the incubator till I get the other ones anyway, just in case they are still fertile. Because we wanna, there's a chance we can get some out of here. We should take it. These are pretty rare breed of quail. I will have all of these guys for sale, though. After they hatch, I'll have them all for sale. So, um, oh, it's pretty good shipping. Okay, take these these guys out. Oh, like those are weird-looking foam peanuts. But oh, they're the insides of these things. I bet they're the inside of the game holder. So there is the hatching and brooding instructions. That's pretty cool. They send you the instructions to brood them and hatch them out. Oh. They're very well packaged. So these are celadon quail. I was talking about them. 
they are uh, a blue egg layer. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the incubator. Blue eggs. Probably can't see that very well. But uh, yeah. Uh, so I will talk a little bit more about them after these are in the incubator. So I will see you guys in a few minutes whenever I put these all Alright guys, so I have them in this incubator. I like it, it's a little giant incubator. I'll link it down below. It works well, especially for reptile eggs, which is what I've used it for the most. But um, what I like the most about it is that it's just really easy to use. I will be getting a better and bigger incubator here soon, but you can see the quail eggs down there. But uh, yeah. So I'll link Southwest down below. They breed all kinds of game birds. Uh, they breed pheasant. No, they don't. They breed quail only, I think. They may breed pheasants, but I'm pretty sure they might only breed quail. But um, they have all kinds of quail. They have celadon. They have uh, regular caternix. They have uh, they have bob whites, I think. And they have all kinds of different color varieties. And they're getting a lot more quail soon. Um, I'm pretty sure they're getting like Tennessee reds, uh, gambles, all kinds of. I need it to focus over here. Uh, okay, whatever. So, yeah. So I'll link them down below. Go check them out. Give them an order. Go order some quail. Uh, these were a week late, and they arrived perfect. They got stuck in shipping, and none of them are cracked. Um, I got 30 eggs. They're packaged amazingly. Uh, so, yeah. I'll see you guys outside now whenever I get the coop set up, because in this video, we're also picking up 60 adults. And I'll be incubating some more of these eggs, which I might make this video into two parts, but... I don't know. So go check out Southwest Game Birds. I'll have them linked down below. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. So um, we actually, I didn't actually pick up the quail so I couldn't film it, but we, my mom and my grandma picked up the quail. Oh my gosh. So here's their celadon quail, like I said earlier. Um, this is the tuxedo um, coloring. I don't know what type of coloring this is, but it's a, okay. Wait, I'll flip the camera. Okay, so we have that one, that coloring, we have that coloring. So they're saying in this big room that the ghosts were in at one time, because I feel like my coop's a little bit too small. Even though it's like big enough industrial breeding wise, I don't want to have to have them in industrial sized things, because I feel like that's a little harsh. Here's the normal, there's just a wild type. Uh, there's an egg living on this blue. Where? By the window. Oh, yep, yeah. so blue eggs. So this is my favorite coloring, right there. And they're all really nice. And there's one other really cool coloring over here. So here's, there's one, he's a cool little girl. Where? Oh. So some of them aren't gonna be blue just because it is hard to get the gene and everything. But uh, then we have this guy. There's, this one's like a tan color and this one's like pure white, which is really cool. So there are 60 of them in here, they're everywhere. Uh, I, we have a ton of eggs just from today. Um, so, yeah, and we have these boxes stacked up. They can get in there and stuff. But tomorrow, I'll probably set this up as, like, a good room. There's one. You want to see how to sex it? Sure. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So all the males are actually banded. Um, but, yeah, so we got two eggs. There's a bunch more. So you can see they're loud. Um, they're, they, I'll have some, I already have eggs for sale. If you guys are interested, you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll have chicks for sale soon. I really want, so eventually guys, I will sell, eventually I'll sell most of my breeding stock. I'm, I want to get into just tuxedos, which is this color, but um, I might not do that. I might just start a separate breeding group of just tuxedos. I might not sell everything, but uh. Yeah, I can see this. I don't... There are no males over here. Oh, yeah, there's one male right, right here. This guy's a male. So you can see they're banded. He's banded. So, yeah, there's there's quail everywhere. So, yeah. So I will actually see you guys in the morning, and I'll set this up completely. Because um, this video is going to be two parts, because my second set of eggs hasn't come in yet anyway. So this will be two parts. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning whenever I set this entire 
room up to be quail, the quail room. All right, guys, it's the next day, uh, right after school. We're actually going in there. Uh, we're about to set it up to make it an actual good looking quail room. Here's Dakota, there's little man. Uh, so we're coming in. Uh, we're gonna like set up a feeder and, oh yeah, let's let Carson in. Okay, okay so we're gonna do that and uh, I'll show you all the quail like up close and all the colors we have. Come on, Carson. Come on. Come on. Hold on, I'll see you guys in just a few minutes whenever he's in here. All right, guys, so we have the chicks here. Here's the bar drop. Oh, oh, okay. And then here are the two olive eggers. There's the other one. So um, they're doing all right. Uh, let's go see the quail. So these guys are very loud, especially in the daytime. We're gonna collect eggs. Uh, so here you go, guys. So they are loud and pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, look at so, that one. It's so pretty. Yeah. Like brown one. I'm gonna catch it. So no, no, no catching it. So we're actually gonna go around and collect eggs. But I'm going to set a time lapse of us. Actually, yeah, I'll just set a time lapse of us collecting the eggs, probably. So I'll enjoy the time lapse. All right, guys. So we got three eggs, uh, which is weird because last night we picked up like 30 something. Uh, but that might just because it's not the full day yet. Maybe they need until tonight to lay eggs. But so we got three, one celadon egg and two Caternix normal eggs. Uh, so yeah, so I'll set, uh, enjoy the time lapse of us setting this ent entire room up with the normal things. And I'll show you guys the variations too. Okay, guys, so that was probably a pretty long time lapse. We were at it for like an hour and a half. Um, but we got it pretty well set up. So we have the food and water right here. Um, we have a little area back here with shavings for them to hang out at. We have the shavings over here. We have a little house right there, a little, little hide-out thing right there. A little hide-out thing right there. I don't know if he can. Let's get him out. Um, maybe we'll fix We'll they can get out in, in that because they can fly higher, but oh, yeah. that one's kind of like closed in, so yeah. she's put that over there. Uh, not right now. Uh, so then we also got this little English white cell down right here. She she looks like she's not doing too well, so we put her separate um, just to see how she recovers. She's just not, she's kind of like lethargic and like just chill and not doing anything, like not moving much and stuff. So, we have the whole entire room, and it looks really good, actually. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, I think this is going to be the end of the video right now. We're going to have a part two, so this will be a part two of the um, quail eggs and stuff. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be part two, hopefully. Uh, there will be two parts, but it might not be the next video. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Very easy things to do. And 
Um, subscribing is the easiest thing to do. So is liking. So it's just that little thumbs up button. Tap it. Tap this little red button that says subscribe down there. Um, and leave a nice comment. Go follow my socials, which are linked down below. And go check out Southwest Game Birds, which will also be linked down below. So I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.